It's time for Church at Home. I'm Gary, and I'm so happy to be here with you today and with your whole family. Now, can I ask you a question just to get to know you a little better? What would you do if you had a jetpack? I know what I would do. I'd pick up my friends. That's right, they wouldn't even know that I'm there. I'd just pick them up while they're eating their chips or sucking down a lollipop, and guess what? I would drop them in water somewhere and have the best laugh. I'm also done with cars, because I'm just gonna fly everywhere, easy. But I, I may need to learn how to use a jetpack first. You know, that reminds me of how the crew at Connect HQ is always learning. That's why they're talking about this point. Be wise, learn God's way. Now, let's jump into Connect. Here's Jake. I'll be honest. I used to get kind of nervous about singing and dancing in front of my friends. But then, I started thinking about how awesome God is and how he's done so many good things for me. I realized, no matter how nervous I feel, God still deserves to be worshiped. So now, I sing and dance to worship God whenever I get the chance. And those nervous feelings aren't such a big deal anymore. You can too. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
got something to say and I will be heard I made up my mind, not afraid to show That's right, gonna leave the past behind Gonna let the whole world know are here. The new code books are here. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a rumor that they're going to rewrite code 5524. Oh, yeah. They rewrote it all right. And if I have to say so myself, it is quite a doozy. Every year when the Connect board updates our safety code standards, I put them in my trusty binder. But this time, I'll be putting them in my bright and shiny new binder that I got for Christmas. <laughs> What a beautiful yellow binder. As if to say, use caution and slow down. Check it out. Oh, just smell those fresh safety codes. Safety code 72311. All binders should be a neutral color and easy on the eyes. Bright binders are considered a safety hazard. Not safe, not safe. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is the first time I met Edison. Okay, which do you think is the smarter snack? A pear or carrot sticks? No idea. A pear 
No, wait, carrot sticks. Where's Mike? He knows a lot about snacks. Uh, he's on a short sabbatical. You mean sabbatical? Yes, it's another word for vacation. A thesaurus? Smart snacks? What's going on around here? Well, we have a visitor coming today from Connect IQ, and I just want to make sure that he feels at home. Connect IQ? Yeah, we have a lot of cues. I mean, we're Connect HQ, and then the smart people are over at Connect IQ, and the models are at Connect GQ, and the speedy police officers are at Connect PDQ. Huh, I never knew there were so many cues. <laughs> yep, and now I know that we have a lot of wisdom here at Connect HQ, but I also want to make sure that we look super smart. Smart or knowledgeable. Astute, brainy. Is there a difference between being wise and being smart? There is. Being intelligent isn't the same thing as having wisdom. You can be super smart and still not have God's wisdom. Yeah, and wisdom isn't something you can get in a snap. It's something you have to gain over time by following God's path for your life. So we should be wise, learn God's way. Exactly. My guts say go with the pear. But I don't know if that's the smart snack, or just because I'm kind of hungry. Or maybe you're ravenous. Nice choice. And then we realized he wasn't multiplying by the circumference. He was using the radius. <laughs> <laughs> the radiums! Radius. Did you just say radiums? No, no. I did not. I said exactly what you said, which I thought was hilarious. You know what else is hilarious? Um, Words of uh, like like uproarious, uh, amusing. Yeah. Oh, hey, here's our captain. Um, Edison and I were just discussing words. <laughs> captain Ray, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so much about you at Connect IQ. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Harper. Hi. What brings you to Connect HQ? We got some of your mail by mistake, and I just wanted to drop it off in person. To whom it may concern. There's a project for advanced learning that all of my friends get to work on, but I don't. I feel smart, but will I ever be smart enough? Sincerely yours, Ned. Hmm. That sounds like some big words for a kid. I wonder if this postcard is from someone older? We don't know where it came from. At Connect IQ, we're usually solving problems like how tall is God or how much do angels weigh. We're not used to big feelings like this. Can you help? Connect HQ is here for you. And for Ned. Luke, will you and Harper search for a Bible link, and I'll show Edison how we search for a verse link. You got it, Captain. We'll be uh, hasty, uh, uh, swift, and uh, speedy. <laughs> Aha, I got it. A Bible link? No, some new words for story. We need a, uh, 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 a Bible narrative, a Bible memoir, a biblical chronicle. Luke. Uh, sorry, you're right. We need to focus on finding a link for Ned's problem. Ned is worried about not being smart enough, but earlier you guys said that being wise and being smart are two different things. I've got it. That is the perfect uh, epic or anecdote. <laughs> I know, I'm doing it again. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. Jesus was on a mountain teaching everyone all about how they should live their life. Jesus lived a perfect life, so he wasn't just telling them a good way to live, he was telling them the best way to live. In fact, he was telling them how God wanted them to live. Jesus said that anyone who listens to his teaching and chooses to live God's way is wise, but anyone who refuses to listen to him 
and lives their life their own way is foolish. Then Jesus told them a little story to help them understand what he meant. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. This man built his house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat The foolish man built his house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat Yeah Now Jesus wasn't talking about houses or weather Jesus was showing us the consequences of choosing to live God's way or your own way if you follow Jesus' example, you are building your life on something strong and secure. When trouble and hard times come, you won't be shaken. If you try to live your life your own way, you are building your life on shifting and shaky sand. When trouble and hard times come your way, it will feel like your whole life is falling apart. So, what will you build your life on? Let's sing this song together one more time. Man built this house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The wise man built this house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The foolish man built this house upon the sand. The storms came and the house fell flat. This man built his house upon the sand The storms came and the house fell flat Yeah Choosing to live God's way is wise And living life our own way is foolish This Bible link will show Ned that a strong and secure life is one that follows God's way Strong, secure, solid, stable, substantial are there any other words? I think you- Steady! <laughs> it's an intuitive piece of hardware. It helps us create a connection transmission that we send to the field office or put into our archives. At Connect IQ, we just put together a thick document with all the pertinent information. It's anywhere from 30 to 50 pages long, single spaced. Well, that seems exhaustive. It is. Some people work on the paperwork while other people get to work on the cooler projects. What kind of projects? Things like designing gadgets, like jetpacks. It's my dream to work on something like that, but only the extremely intelligent get picked. I have to be smart enough to be on the jetpack path. Well, that sounds a lot like Ned's problem. Oh, uh, yeah, it, 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 I guess it does. <laughs> well, whenever I'm confused about the path that I'm on, I just remember one of my favorite verses. It comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse six. Would you like to say it with me? How do I do that? Follow me like this. Proverbs three, six. Proverbs three, six. Seek his will in all you do. Seek his will in all you do. And he will show you which path to take. And he will show you which path to take. Seek his will. His will means God's way. This verse reminds us to be wise and to choose God's path, not just the path that seems cool. So Ned's smarts have nothing to do with it. What matters is if he's on the right path, God's path. <laughs> You've got it. Now, if you hit this button right here, it'll help us upload the link to the link console. First link uploaded. Wow, innovative. Well, I know it's no jetpack, but we try. Hey Edison, is everything okay? This is a beautiful view. There's nothing like this at Connect IQ. Just one floor and lots of gray walls. One guy has a cat poster, but that's about it. Well, I was about to make a connection transmission for Ned, if you want to help me. I have something to confess. What's up? There is no Ned. Sure there is. From the postcard? He was a fabrication. A cipher? A non-entity. 
You sound like Luke. Ned is make-believe. I, I made him up. I wrote the postcard because I had a problem that needed an answer. That explains all the big words. But why didn't you just ask one of your friends at Connect IQ? Because even though I was surrounded by smart people, they aren't as wise as everyone around here. Well, here at Connect HQ, we make plenty of mistakes, but there's one thing we always try and remember. Be wise, learn God's way. See, you just said something in five words that would take us 30 pages to say. Be wise, learn God's way. That's excellent. So, do you want to help me make the connection transmission for Ned? Long live the imaginary Ned. I'd love to help. Hi, my name is Harper. And I'm Madison. And we're here to tell you something we learned about wisdom. The Bible tells us all about it in the book of Proverbs. Here, say it with us like this. Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 6. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. We don't always know what to do when we have a choice to make, but if we seek God's will, He will always show us the right path to take. The wise path instead of the foolish path. Learning wisdom is like building your life on Jesus. He's a rock which is strong and secure. When hard things come your way, you won't be shaken. But if you choose to live your life your own way, without God's help, that's like building your life on shaky sand. When hard times happen, you feel like your life is falling apart. Everyone needs wisdom. It doesn't matter if you're smart or not. Young or old, God's way is wiser than yours. Wisdom isn't knowing all the right answers. It's knowing what God's way is and doing it. God made you. He made the whole world. He knows everything. He knows what has happened, what's happening, and what's going to happen. God's way is wiser than our way. Be wise, learn God's way. Thanks for helping me out, Edison. No problem. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. What a simple but important way to share God's truth with people who need answers. It's what we do. It's what I want to do. Well, I don't think Connect IQ has a link console or drones. No, no, I mean here. I want to help you here at Connect HQ. I want to become a leader like you. That would be awesome, but we'd have to ask Ray. Ask me what? If I might, I'd like to request a transfer to Connect HQ. What about the path where you get to make jetpacks? I think this is a wiser path. Well, if you feel like God is guiding you, we'd love to have you. Excellent. We can get you started on the leader and training track, but there is a small amount of paperwork. I'm great at paperwork. Welcome to Connect HQ, Edison. It's gonna be, help me out, Luke. What's the best way to describe it? How about amazing? Uh, Mind-blowing. Astonishing. Wonderfine. Grandificent. Okay, now they're just making up words. <laughs> Pretty good. You don't just wake up with tons of wisdom. Wisdom is something you gain over your entire life if you're looking for it. And the first step is choosing to follow Jesus as your leader and number one friend. If you haven't decided to be a disciple of Jesus, you can make that decision today. All you have to do is remember the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure and talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. Come on, I get excited when I hear about the ABCs and how much Jesus loves you. And I'm even more excited for you if you wanna make the choice to follow Jesus right now. You've got to talk to a leader or a grown-up you trust right now because I guarantee they're gonna be excited too. Read my lips, tell somebody. It's wise to follow Jesus and to learn God's way which reminds me of the verse we learned at Connect HQ. Let's say the Bible verse together. Proverbs 3, 6. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. 
Now, I know a story about a brother and a sister walking on a path. I'll tell you it, but let's walk while I tell it. While we're walking, listen to three words. Pause, pray, and pick. When you hear one of them, do the motion that matches it, like this. When you hear the word pause, put your hands out in front of you. Great. The next word is pray. When you hear it, make the prayer hands like this. Awesome. So we've learned pause, we've learned pray, and the last word is pick. When you hear it, point over your head like you're pointing to God. You're gonna do great. Okay, here we go. Sydney was walking to the park with her big brother, Anthony. She picked flowers to give to her mom. Anthony picked up sticks to play with. At the stop sign, they paused to pick which direction to go. Sydney wanted to pick right. Anthony wanted to pick left. The pause lasted longer while they argued. Wow, I don't know what I would have done if, if I was Sydney. Let's keep it up and see what happens next. Finally, Sydney prayed quietly to God. God helped Sydney pick a good attitude. Sydney said to Anthony, if you want to pick left, I will pick left too. Anthony was surprised. Usually Sydney did not pause and pray when they fought. She usually picked a fight. He said, thanks Sydney, next time I should pause and pray too. Then we can get along and pick the same thing without so long of a pause. Oh man, I don't know about you guys, but all that pausing, picking, praying, it wore me out. What about you? Well, thanks for playing along. I really love the story because it helps me remember the point. Be wise, learn God's way. One way God wants you to learn is the Bible. Check in with it every day. The kids' Bible experience in the YouVersion Bible app makes it really fun. Go check it out after you talk about the questions I've got for your family. Okay, well, I hate for our Connect adventure to be over, but it's time to tell your family what it means to be wise. Stay tuned for the cues, and I'll see you guys later.